Example 3 is a quadratic equation question with no real roots, which means it's, they are all imaginary roots or complex roots. Okay, so um, what is going on? Well, first thing, we have to group them up properly. So, of course, again, we have to uh, copy this quadratic equation out one more time. Okay, now first thing first, you always have to look out for the coefficient of x squared, the coefficient of x, and of course the constant term. So as you can see here, very obviously, this 2 is the coefficient of x squared, the negative 4p will be your coefficient of x, and your constant term is rather long here, okay, which is 2p squared minus 4p minus 3. So p is a constant term, so there you go. Now, what we know is that this quadratic equation has got no real roots. What it means, or rather what it's trying to tell us, is that our b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. It's a negative number there. Okay, so this is precisely what we're going to do. Okay, so our b squared minus 4ac, we have negative 4p, alright, square, which is our b squared, minus 4ac. Alright, so the only problem now is our, four, our C is slightly longer than usual. Is not equal, is less than, okay, less than 0. Here we go. So simplifying this, we will get 16P squared minus away. Now this is 8 here, so 8 multiplied by 2, and that will give us a 16P squared. Okay, this is an 8. So 8 multiplied by 4, negative, negative, it becomes a positive. So 8 multiplied by 4 give me a 32p. Okay, again, negative, negative. So this is 8. 8 multiplied by 3, and that will give me a positive 24, less than 0. So this 16p squared will cancel with this 16p squared. And therefore, when you shift the 24 over, it becomes a negative 24. So you work it out, you have p being less than negative 24 over 32, all right, which is actually 3 quarter. Okay, so p has to be less than negative 3 quarter. Now, you may think, okay, that's great, you know, we found out what's p and all, but this is not the answer. Okay, because you have to really read the question very carefully. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to find the greatest integer value of p. What is integer value? Integers are whole number, all right? Negative and positive, as well as including zero. As long as you're a whole number, you are an integer. So you want the greatest integer for p. Obviously, three quarter is not an integer because it's not a whole number. It's zero point seven five, right? So how are we going to find out a whole number that will satisfy this condition? At the same time, um, it has to be the greatest whole number. Okay, because p has to be less than minus 3 quarters. So can p be, uh, say, negative 3? Well, yes, of course, right? Because p is negative 3, negative 3 is uh, less than minus 3 quarter. If it works, can. All right, what, what it means is that when your p is negative 3, and then you substitute in your p is negative 3 here into this equation, you will get your b squared minus 4ac being negative, less than 0. All right, the trouble is, is negative 3 the greatest integer value for p? How about minus 2? Well, minus 2 is greater than minus 3, is it? So how are we going to find out which is the greatest value, greatest integer value for p? The best way to picture this is to draw a number line. Okay, so when you draw a number line, everything becomes very clear because you know that there is a negative 3 quarter here, and you know that the p has to be way lower, okay? It cannot even be equal to negative 3 quarter. It can only be less than 3 quarter. So it's this side on. So negative 2 will be somewhere here. Negative 3 will be lower. Negative 4 will be even lower and so on and so forth, right? So which is the nearest whole number that is nearest to negative 3 quarter? Well, it's simple, isn't it? Negative 1. Okay, oops, you can't really see the 1 there, but all right, it is negative 1. Okay, so the greatest p value will be negative 1, and that will be the answer.
okay so this is a little different from uh, the first two examples that we have seen alright and uh, do take note of questions like this 